In this video, I will show you how to configure the sidebar settings. Before you continue, I would recommend you to watch our How to Configure Single Posts Settings video first. You can click on the eye icon or you can also find the video's link in the description box below. From the dashboard, go to Appearance, then click on Customize. Under Posts and Pages, go to Single Post. In our last video, we learned how to configure single blog posts with the help of the options available here within Single Posts settings. Now these settings are the global settings, which means each and every configuration you make from under Single Posts settings is applied to all of your single posts throughout your site. In addition to these settings, Rishi theme also provides you the flexibility to individually control elements on your single posts. So let's see how we can do that. Let's go to our front end, our site, and we will go to the blog page. Now we will randomly open three blog posts. Let's open the first one, the second one, and we will open the fifth one. Now, if you take a look at each of these posts one by one, you will see that all of them have the same sidebar layout. That is the right sidebar layout, which is to have sidebar displayed on the right hand side. And that is because from the customizer, we have selected the right sidebar layout. As a right sidebar layout is selected, all of your blog posts are displaying right sidebar layout. Now let's say for example, for the first blog post, I want the left sidebar layout. For the second blog post, I want full width layout. And for the rest of the posts, I want them to have the right sidebar layout. Then that is also possible. Let's start with the first post. Take a note of the blog post name. Now we will go back to the dashboard. Go to posts. Click on all posts. Here is the blog post. Click on edit. On the top right hand side, you will find Rishi page settings. Click on it. Under post structure, under general, you will find the layout options. You can go for the layout of your choice. So let's go with the left sidebar and click on update. Now let's go back to the same post and we will give it a refresh. Now the blog post has left sidebar layout. Similarly, for our second blog post, we will check out the blog post name. We will go back to the dashboard, back to all posts and we will open that particular blog post, click on edit. Again, click on the Rishi page settings right on top. From under post structure, we will select full width layout and click on update. Let's go back to the post once again. We will give it a refresh. Now, the blog post has full width layout. Then if we go over to the third blog post and give it a refresh, this blog post as well as the rest of the blog posts will not show any changes because they still have the global settings applied to them. Unlike the first and the second blog post where we individually customized each of the posts. So this is how you can individually configure the sidebar settings. Now, apart from the sidebar, you will also find more options. Let's go back. Right on top, you can also enable or disable the breadcrumb. If you go back to the same blog post, you will not see any breadcrumb. Whereas for the rest of the blog posts, you will see the breadcrumb is showing. Now, let's enable the breadcrumb here as well. Back to edit post. We will disable the toggle which will then enable the breadcrumb. Click on update. Now we go back. 
give this post a refresh and now the breadcrumb is displaying here for this particular post as well. We will go back. If you go under design, you can also select the content area background. Just click on the color and you can select the color of your choice. You can also add in the gradient, image or even a pattern. Then you can also set the content area shadow, content area padding as well as content area border radius. Under content area style source, you can either customize it and select content area style from either boxed, content boxed or unboxed. If you click on inherit, this will inherit all of the configurations made from under single posts under customizer settings. You can also enable or disable the stretch layout from here. Then you can also select content area vertical spacing. You can either custom it and select from four different options or you can click on inherit and this will inherit all of the global settings that you have made from under single posts under customizer settings. Next, you can also configure the post elements. You can enable or disable the featured image. So you can enable it, click on update. If you go back, give the same post a refresh. This will not display the featured image anymore. Let's go back and we will enable the featured image by disabling the toggle. Then you can also enable or disable the post tags, author box, posts navigation, comments and related posts following the same process with just a single click. You can also disable the header and footer. So let's update the change for now. We will go back to the same post, give it a refresh so that the featured image displays here. You can also disable the header and the footer for only this particular post. All you have to do is go back to the same post and you have to enable to disable the header as well as footer. Click on update. Let's go back to the same blog post, give it a refresh. And as you can see, the header as well as the footer is disabled for only this particular post. Again, if you go back to the rest of the posts and give them refresh, there are no changes made because we have not individually customized them. Back to the post and these options are available for all of your single blog posts. With the help of these options, you can easily individually customize each of your single posts. So that was it about how to configure the sidebar settings. If you have any questions, any confusions, please directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.